Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about Chinese food and Chinese people. How dare I? After living in China for many, many years now, I realized and have to succumb to the fact that I really like China. I like the Chinese people, I like the Chinese culture, I like the environment, I like the parks. I just like pretty much everything about it. Granted, there's one or two issues that I'm not so keen on, but one or two is just a few, so be it. But I have noticed when I return to the UK for a holiday and meet up with my family and friends and we go to a Chinese restaurant, that the food isn't quite the same. It's not quite the same quality, standard, or even taste, texture, as it is here in China. In this particular part of this city, down here, there's a total of 82 units, 82 shops. 47 of them are restaurants. That's amazing. The food in each one is really, really good, and the prices are very, mm, how do we say, competitive with each other. Certainly very affordable. Yeah, sadly, one of the things I've noticed when I go to the UK and I've been out with family or friends eating in the restaurants, I've also discovered that generally, not all, Chinese people are not quite so friendly. They appear to have lost some of their own culture. Maybe it's the pressure of life working in another country. I'm not sure, I don't know the answer to that. Um, but they're not quite as friendly, particularly those that, that have grown up in those Western countries. Maybe they've adopted some Western culture. When I meet the Chinese that have emigrated to uh, the UK and they discover that I'm living in Guangzhou or in China, they're happy to talk to me. But the ones that have never been to China or very, very little time of their, their own lives are really not happy and really not that friendly and seem to come from a different world. What's the cause of that? And what about you? Do you find the same in your own country when you go home and go to a Chinese environment? Are those Chinese people there as friendly, accommodating um, as the Chinese people here in mainland China? Hello, 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 hello. 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 Hey, hello. 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 Do you speak Chinese? I like no, I don't speak Chinese. Can oh. you speak English? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. Where's your I, teacher? I like cars. Oh, oh, is this your teacher? Is it? Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Hey, Niemann, how? You do kung fu? No English. No English. <laughs> no English. I know okay, English. English. This is average. He's from Japan. He's from Japan. Oh, suck it up. Playing back basketball. <laughs> yeah. Gender? Japan. He's Kobe Bryant. Oh, is he? Okay, okay. Everyone say hello. Hello. Hello to England. Hello, England. Hello, England. Yeah, hey, well done. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is a serious boat. It's called Smart Hero on the side. Let's have a look at that. Smart Hero on the side of the boat. <laughs> Let's see who's the hero. Right, we're going to take some pictures first and then we're going to go along the river. No more on my camera, I'll get it off their system when this is all finished. Okay, hi. Right, so the captain of this boat has just taken us along this river at some crazy speeds, about 60 miles an hour. We're all pretty much wet, wasn't expecting that. Professor Sue lost control of the gimbal. <laughs> And he's got, but he has got some videos. That was unexpected. I hope I can get some videos of this later because we couldn't use our phones whilst he was doing the boat trip along the river because it's going too fast and the insurance company won't cover it. Who's these people? Professor Sue and... Hi. English name? Coco. Coco. Lin <laughs> Ning. Lin Ning. Um, Lin Okay. Lili. And of course the camera guy. Matthew. His job is most important. English name? Matthew. Matthew, right. So we've, we've done the museum. I'm going to get clips of that trip around the museum from these guys. And now we're going to go into a shop. This whole part of Jiaoqing is about ink stones and how they make them, how they produce them, and the history. It's a really, really interesting subject. We're going to go inside now and uh, see how the stones are made. These are the chisels. This is the stone and it's allowed me to engrave 
around the edge of this stone. So in general, what I'm saying to Chinese people, if you do go to a Western country to live and work, don't change your attitude. Personally, I like you the way you are. Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.